everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm back sharing with you what p got for christmas now i know it's the new year i know it's a little bit late but to be honest i've just been putting off doing it because she's got so much stuff hold it all up and make sure that i had everything and um, so i'm just going to sit down and go through what people got her i'm going to start off with like friends and family and stuff like that and then i will go on to what we got her to be honest we didn't really get her that much because i knew everyone else wanted to buy her a present um which is slightly annoying i just wish people would give cash because she's just too she doesn't really need anything and now she's got so much stuff my house literally looks like a crash so let's start with this because this is the biggest item um and it's quite heavy and it's getting in the way and that is this like high tea party set this was from aldi um and it's from neil's mum we asked her if she'd brought anything for birthday or christmas back when this was in in the store she's like no why is there anything you're after and i thought this was beautiful um they had it in pink and purple as well but i just think the red and white look, looks a lot nicer so it opens up it's very very heavy um obviously it's wood but i wasn't expecting it to be as heavy as it is it's actually a bit of a hazard um like because this could just literally smash on her fingers so she has to play with it like in um i don't know what i'm trying to say with me supervising that's when she can play with it so you have like tea cups and saucers you've got like wooden cakes and then you also have a birthday cake all the candles have fallen out um and then some of the pieces are velcro for example you've got this um orange here which opens up in half but then you also have um ice creams which are magnetic which i think is quite cool and you can take them completely apart um and then you just have like some random little bits like kiwis and limes and lemons and all that sort of stuff so that was from aldi i know when she got it it was 20 pounds um so that was one of her main presents um from neil's mum so we just got that but to be honest she probably won't play with that for a while the little extra bits she got she got her some duplo this is my town i think it's like the birthday edition because you've got um like a birthday cake and you've got some balloons and then the pieces are down at the bottom so you can see what she got in that a few other extras from neil's mum she got her a set of pajamas um, these are from Tesco's. These are the size 2 to 3, which is obviously the age she should be in. But she's not. She's in 12 to 18. But it's fine. They can just go away. We don't have any pyjamas in that size. And they're long sleeves. So this will probably be coming out in like a couple of years' time for like winter pyjamas. But they're quite cute. They've got little caps on. Neil's mum knows I'm quite fussy when it comes to pink. I don't like loads of pink. Um, and then she got us two books. So we've got Usborne Peep Inside the Zoo. She actually hasn't got any of these Usborne books. So I was really happy to see that we have got one of these. Um, so we've got like all the flaps and stuff like that. The other one is Ten Little Dinosaurs, um, which is a board book. Again, I've seen, I think I've seen this in Sainsbury's. It's really colourful and it basically just counts down to ten. And she doesn't have anything like this so it's really colorful actually you can spend ages looking at each of the pages so yeah got that moving on to things from my grandma my grandma basically just gives me a check and i buy things on behalf of her this year i only spent a little bit of money on p and i've put the rest in her piggy bank just because i didn't want to buy stuff that wasn't really necessary to be fair this stuff wasn't necessary at all but it was from home bargains and it was all really cheap so i found this Neil and P have got this out. I haven't even played with it yet because I've just been so busy. So it's like this tumble and spin game. Can you find all your friends? So I don't really know what it does. We have this little pepper pig. I can get it out of the box. There, so you've got this little pepper. You turn it on and it spins, I think. But Neil said that the batteries weren't working. Inside, you have little cards. So you've got like George. I don't know the names of them. But you've got people in there i don't know the concept of the game but all i know was it was 2.99 and it was cheap and it was pepper and he liked it so i picked that up and then to go alongside that it's like a little extra again from home bargains sorry i am all over the place i'm not used to this whole sit down video malarkey it's been such a long time dominoes pepper pig dominoes 99p like insanely cheap um, I can imagine they're going to be quite big, so and like potentially cardboard. Obviously, I don't know because they're still in the packaging. Um, but yeah, she's too young for them. Completely understand that. But I thought for 99p, can't go wrong. Then we've got them, and then we've got the Peppa Pig playing cards, um, and these are fab. So it's basically four games in one for this. Um, Happy Family Snap, matching pairs, and Pirate George. Not too sure what Pirate 
what Pirate George does. Um, but for 99p, so I got all of that basically for five pounds. Uh, a final present from my grandma um, is the start of multiple Disney DVDs. This is the Aristocats, one of my faves. P loves cats, so I thought it was highly appropriate to get her this. Um, this was really cheap, this was only five pounds from Sainsbury's. From one of Neil's brothers, you would have seen these um, if you watched my Sainsbury's toy sale haul, because um, I got these on behalf of them, because they didn't have them in that Sainsbury's, if that makes any sense. Got some dollies. She's too young for these, again, I get it, but she's got them now. Um, they're sort of like Barbie type um, and she didn't have anything like it apart from the one she got for her birthday. Um, so she's got Belle, which I really like. Like it's all movable, you can move her head and all of that. And then she's got little shoes on, but I've actually left the security like things on them so they don't fall off. So she's got Belle and then she's also got Cinderella. And again, move the hands and stuff. So yeah, she doesn't really play with these, but she's got them for when she wants to start playing with them. From Neil's other brother, we got a massive set of Duplo. She does not need any more Duplo, but people just keep buying it for us. Uh, <laughs> that probably sounds really like ungrateful, but we just don't need any more. She doesn't really play with it. Um, I'm sure she will when she gets a little bit older. Um, Duplo, don't know which one it is. You've got, it's like a fairground one, I think, and you can like twist the cloths um, and then you've got the selection of the pieces down at the bottom um, I hope this all fits in her duplo box because if not I'm not, not too sure what I'm going to do with it all from my mum she hasn't got a lot of money so I brought it on behalf of my mum um, in the Sainsbury's toy sale so she got the Ariel um, it's just another one of those dolls to collect and it's also got the little green shoes on and then to go with it she gave Pete the Little Mermaid DVD. Um, haven't opened this one yet so hopefully she'll really like it and she'll like correspond the doll to the um, DVD. So that was what we got from my mum. From my dad and stepmum and stepsisters we have got some educational puzzles. Um, to be fair, we don't really have many educational ones. We've just got ones that are like pretty pictures, like orchard toys. Spelling fun, match and learn. So you basically have like a car and you split it up and you build it sort of thing. And then we've got a puzzle train, which I think is really cool. Um, and it's, it's obviously got the train and it's got the whole alphabet on it and then pictures that correspond to whatever the thing is. So like, oh, it's like Apple. They were little extras from my dad. And then her main present you would have seen in my Christmas Day video is this little till. We actually had a till to give to P for next year from Sainsbury's um, but Dad said he wanted to get one to match her trolley which was absolutely fine and I preferred the colours of this anyway. It's not as good as the one we had from Sainsbury's because in Sainsbury's you could actually push this and actually speak um, and the conveyor belt was electric and probably half the price. I think the one in Sainsbury's was about like £11 and this was £25. Um, but he wanted to get it for us, so it is what it is. So you've got a little slider here for the conveyor belt. You can also take these off. Um, you've got the button to pop it open. She's got her play money from her um, stocking, but the yellow coins are actually what came with it. You've got a couple of debit cards, and then you slide it through. And then that pops up. So... That is her main present from my dad. It also came with a little shopping basket and like some little groceries, which I haven't brought in. Um, probably her favourite present. She loves pressing the buttons and she always like, oh, it's also got the scanner as well. She loves scanning the fruit and veg and putting it in a basket. She absolutely loves it. So definitely glad I didn't wait to give it to her. Then from um, Carol, she gave us money this year and I didn't know what to buy P. Um, and then Neil's like, I really think we should get her like a proper baby. Um, and I wasn't too sure. I think she is too young. But then again, she's got bloody Barbie dolls. So I'm not really normal when it comes to giving presents and stuff. I like to wait and make sure she understands what things are. But I bit the bullet and we got her a baby Annabelle. Now, I would not have paid full price for this. This full price is £55, which is just ridiculous. Um, I found this in Tesco's on a whim for 
£27 which is an absolute bargain she loves it she loves the concept of taking the dummy out it crying she's learnt to pat the baby on the back so if you don't know this is an interactive one as well which is why it should be £55 um, I'm not going to turn it on because I don't want P to stop eating her lunch and want to play with her babies um, but it cries it wheezes. I haven't done those functions yet I'm not ready for that um, it came with a nappy it came with a dummy it came with a bottle a bib and a necklace for some reason random um, yeah, so she got a baby Annabelle and she loves it. It's very heavy. Like, I literally feel like this is what P weighed when she was a newborn. Um, and someone told me on Instagram that you can change these outfits instead of buying, obviously, the baby Annabelle ones, which are like £15 for one baby grow. You can use tiny baby, baby grows on this. And I've got loads of those in the attic. So when she's older and she wants to start changing her outfit, whoops, I will do that. And this one's just got like a little glam or something on it. Um, so yeah, she's got baby Belle and she loves that. So then the presents from myself and Neil, I buy throughout the year. You all know me, I'm quite savvy when it comes to buying things and getting things in the sale. So a lot of this stuff is sale things. I think I've shown these at some point in a haul. Um, these were from Poundland and they're obviously a pound each. So I've got green, red, yellow and blue. Neil's done painting with her and she just loves painting herself, painting her hands eating it um she, she just goes crazy i haven't actually done messy play yet but it's still early in the year i've got the rest of the year to do messy play got her this toot toot friends bus um again she bloody loves this um i'm not gonna well i can push it because i've turned it off but you basically push the button and it sings to you and says really annoying phrases and it's got wheels so it actually moves along because we've got laminate flooring i can really make it fly through the house and she absolutely loves this so really happy i picked that one up i got that from sainsbury's in the toy sale and it was about four pounds fifty so it had like three or four pounds off a couple of dressing up bits that i got pee we went to soft play just before christmas and they had like dressing up boxes and tutus and everything and she loved walking around in this bloody tutu so I decided to get her a couple of dressing up bits, um, just little staples that she can grow into. So the first thing is this tragic tiara, um, but I really like it because it's a hairband. So you wear it as a hairband and then you flip it forward, which I think is really clever because if not, it's like this, it'll like fall off her head. Um, this is from Sainsbury's and I got this for £1.50. It definitely had money off. I think it should have been maybe like... Two fifty, three pounds. I got it for one fifty. It also came with clip-on earrings, but I've put them away because she'll probably swallow them. Um, so she's just got her little tiara. Then I got her this little wand. I got this months ago, um, if not a year ago. Um, and this is from a next outlet centre called Choice Love Choice. It got shut down in Norwich. Breaks my heart. But this is just a little fairy wand, and this was only a pound. Um, it's lovely, it's got obviously the ribbon down the, down the, what's it called, the stick, and it's got little tassels. To go with it, she has got some fairy wings. Now you can see they are laddered already, which is why I got them from Poundland. There was no point spending 15, 20 pounds on a fairy outfit when this is going to happen. She's a child, she's not careful, we have a cat. It doesn't matter, they were one pound. I wish I got two packets now, because these will get destroyed pretty quickly, because obviously they're like mesh they're like tight material but they're the perfect size and she loves walking around wearing her fairy wings the other dressing up item was something that neil decided he wanted to get her i thought it was pretty tragic but to be fair she loves it and she looks so funny wearing it um and that is this dress <laughs> um this is from sainsbury's um and this was in the sale for six pounds bargain should have been like 14 or 12 um it's paw patrol but it's not that tacky like there's no like paw patrol face on the front um if you didn't know i don't think you would know i don't know who like this paw patrol character is um it's got like a little bag it's got a little rucksack that you can open and put your little bits and bobs in we got this in the size two to three and it fits her perfectly so hopefully this will also fit her like next winter as well. Almost finished and my favourite thing I'm going to show you is these. <sighs> you know me, if you watched the birthday haul I did for P um, back in November, you would have seen that we started the collection of the Disney films. 
I have obviously continued that collection and have got quite a few more. So I got Zootropolis, had a Toys R Us gift voucher so there wasn't really anything in there that I wanted to get her so I just got her at Zootropolis. Had to return something to Sainsbury's which meant I basically had money off these. I think for both of these it only cost us £3 because what we returned obviously took it off this bill. Um, so she's got a Cinderella and Peter Pan. I cannot wait to watch Peter Pan. I haven't seen this in years. Um, and it's nice to have sort of like a male lead character as well. So we've got those two. We've got the Jungle Book. I got this one ages ago. Ellie got it from work and she used her discount. So I think two of them only cost me £10 or £5 each. Um, again, I haven't seen this one in years. I'm just collecting the staples, like I've said before. I really don't think you can go wrong with the Disney film. She doesn't need any more big presents, as you've seen. She's got enough. So that's why I just sort of collected these. We got Moana. We got this one from the range. I watched this yesterday. It's actually really good. I wasn't really on board with all the hype and everyone being like, oh, Moana's amazing. It's actually really good and really funny. Like, it's catered to, like, adults as well as children. Um, loved that so I'm really happy we've got that one and then my favourite one and one that I basically just brought because I want to watch it but also because it's got a cat in it and that is Oliver and Company it's basically based off of the film Oliver but with animals so cats and dogs and I just bloody love this film so I cannot wait to sit down with P and watch it um Oh, it's going to be lovely. So to sort of her main present from us. I say main present, they're not because they were so cheap. Um, so first thing we got is this little changing bag. I'll also quickly point out that the rest of the stuff you will see is all from the Sainsbury's toy sale. So this is a little changing bag. Um, this was like £3.50. It comes with loads of little pots that she loves playing with, like little bits of talc. Got some like play cubes. Um, and then it also comes with a fork and if I can find it a little feeding bowl and she loves getting the fork and the spoon and like mixing whatever she thinks is in here and feeding it to her baby so she loves just putting things in bags so that was a fab little extra for her next is this little carrier again I got this for three pounds instead of seven um, it's just a little carrier she puts her baby in there and then we can obviously put her in the car seat or just go for a walk with her um half the time she gets bored carrying it but yeah just a little baby carrier thing that i didn't think she would actually play with but she actually plays with probably the most is this little baby obviously it's got the dvds in it at the moment but it's this little baby's bed um we put this by the side of her bed and every time she sort of comes in her bedroom and baby's in there she's like shh because obviously she knows she's got to be quiet because baby's sleeping. Um, so yeah, she just loves putting baby to bed. We call, she's got baby Belle, obviously, and then she's also got baby Sano. So we've got a baby from Sainsbury's that we got her last year. And we just call it baby Sano. So baby Sano and baby Belle sleep in there. Um, and that was only £5. It's like metal. Um, and she absolutely loves just putting her babies to bed. The other thing, obviously, to complete the trio is a push chair. Her friend Tilly's got a push chair and she loves just walking around with it, pushing it around, playing with her babies and all of that. So I got her one from the Sainsbury's toy sale. I have had this for like two years. Um, but yeah, she just absolutely loves pushing their babies around and just having a whale of a time. This was only £3.75, so bargain. Okay, so that is everything P got for Christmas this year. If you're not aware, P has just turned two. She's two and two months. She's very spoiled. She's very lucky. I now need to get a shit ton of new storage. Every January, I'm like, oh my god, I need new storage because obviously her birthday and Christmas is so close together. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!